These litigants are actors. Well, they're not even actors. The cases aren't real. In fact, the court isn't even real. Oh my goodness. Why am I even saying this? You do it because I tell you to do it. Because I'm real. I'm Judge Tingle. Judge Tingle is real. It don't get no realer than that. This is the plaintiff, Miss Viola Jenkins. She is here today for her child support, and she has not raised not now one child. This is the defendant, Mr. Harold K9 III, and this story is a doggone shame. Cell phones down. Court is now in session. Judge Tingle preside. Well, thank you, Eddie. Mm -hmm. uh, did you tell them to put their cell phone down? So did. Well, honey, could you put yours down, please? Eddie, put your cell phone down. My goodness. Hey. I'd like to welcome you. Uh, Eddie, come here, honey. You already complaining? Uh, is that an animal in my courtroom? Uh, we just started. You already complaining. I said, is that an animal in my courtroom? I don't know what that is, Tingle. I told you, let me pick them. Eddie, that is not your job. Your job is to protect me and protect this courtroom. Now, has that thing had all the shots? Well, he did produce a shot record. Okay. But if he go to Biden, I'm going to get to shooting. With what? Your pinky toe? Come on, you don't even have a gun. <laughs> a man can't dream, can he? Oh, Lord. Let's get to this case. Uh, today's case is in reference to one Miss Viola Jenkins versus Mrs. Oh, sorry, Mr. Lord, look at me. <laughs> He's so funny looking. Can you to look at him? Mr. Harold K. Nine. Uh, I will give you both the opportunity to introduce yourself. Mr. Jenkins, uh, Miss Jenkins, I'm sorry, Miss Jenkins, you cute thing. You go first, honey. Thank you, Your Honor. I'm Viola Jenkins. Eh? He's not going to leave me without giving me no child support. Oh, she's here for the money, honey. For the money. <laughs> for the money. Okay, you, sir. You have the floor. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning. My name is Harold P. K9 III. That's C-A-N-I-N-E. -N -E. And uh, forgive me for being forward, Your Honor, but uh, I've got a golf engagement scheduled at 11 o'clock this morning. Then after that, I need to see my uh, accountant for some Bitcoin investments. Uh, do you know approximately how long this will take? I don't have much time for all these uh, excuse shenanigans. Me, excuse me, Mr. C-A-N-I-N-E. <laughs> I can spell too, so I don't give a hoot about your golf tournament. This is Tingle Court. Okay, let's get that straight. <laughs> First of all, oh my goodness. Uh, Miss Jenkins, uh, I want you to know, honey, I've read your file front to back. Took me all night. <laughs> you have Mr. Jenkins here. You got at least 101 complaints against him. Uh, where you want to start? Well, Your Honor, we can start from the beginning. Oh, that's a good place to start. So tell me, where did you meet Mr. Golf Tournament C-A-N-I-N-E -N -N -E over here? He's such a hurry. That's the same authority. Well, Your Honor, we have been in what I thought a monogamous relationship for 10 years. Uh, correction, Your Honor. It was 70 years, if it was a day. 70 years? I gave this woman everything. Mr. Kana, Mr. Kana, Mr. Kana. I'm not 70. Mr. Kana, 70 years? That's a long time. Listen, sir, we will get to you. I assure you, we will get to you, okay? Yeah. Every dog gets his day in Judge Tingle Court. That was a good one, Eddie. <laughs> Miss Jenkins, though. Honey, what is the nature of your relationship with Mr. Kana over here? Can you please explain that to me? He was my friend, Your Honor, my best friend. Oh my, where did that come from? Mr. K-9, did you need to speak, sir? What the Lord Well, since you asked, Your Honor, yes, it is true. I was her best friend, but she never appreciated me. And you know the whole saying, you never miss the water until the well runs dry? Did you leave alone or went that straight up the street? Woman, you tried to keep me on a leash. Miss Jenkins, 
Ooh, honey, you've got to pull yourself together. Now, I can see the seriousness of this situation, but you're going to have to bring more than them tears to my court. Now, did you indeed keep him on the leash? It's true. I may have been a little clingy when we were out in public, but it was for his own good. You know, Judge, them girls be in heat. What I supposed to do? <laughs> oh, I don't know, honey. Maybe a little home training. Maybe. <laughs> but who am I? Uh, according to these documents, uh, Miss Viola, you have children with Mr. C-A-N-I-N-E over here. Is that true? Yes. We started out as friends, and then we had five children. Five of them. Well, I did read that in the documents here. Uh, that's a lot to have between two individuals. Honey, I can't imagine having birth five children. I only have three myself. I can't do five. It's painful. Yeah. Well, uh, excuse me, Your Honor. Oh, Lord, here he goes. Okay, yes, sir. If she would have had them all at once, like I previously suggested, it wouldn't have been so bad. A litter is what I'm talking about. But she never listens to me. Never listens to me. You see, all the females in my family have been doing this for generations. Her dropping them one by one, oh, that's just plain silly. I'm not an animal like your mama. Don't you talk about my mama. Mr. Canine, let's talk about that litter of children. Right here, Miss Jenkins has produced his evidence. Uh, complaint number 44, child support. What you got to say about that? Look, ma'am. They sleep in my beds, they sit at my table, they ride in my car to school. If they fall, I pick them up. How much more support you want from me, Viola? You gotta pay me some money too. For what, Viola, you big neck hey, cross hey, hey, hey. Well, down, boy. Don't make me call animal control. It's okay, it's okay. Sir, I'm confused. Mr. K9 C. I Hey, how you spell it? I forget. Uh, who has custody of all these children? Well, Your Honor, she has custody, but I have the kids. Tell the truth, Viola. Shame the devil. I do have custody of the children, Your Honor. All five of them. They mine. I had them. All right. I. You know what, Ed? I heard enough. I haven't heard enough. I'm ready to go to the casino. Ooh. I mean, I'm ready to rule on this case right now. But, but... I haven't even told my side yet. And I have 99 other complaints to go over. That's right. Order in this court. It's not Eddie, fair. Eddie, 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 please. Tell these people who is in charge around here. It's not fair, Judge. Uh, you, but, uh, sometimes me, you know what I'm saying? But it sure ain't them. Thank you, Eddie. Now, as I said, I am ready to rule on this case. I have a very important appointment to get to, <laughs> which I need to attend. So, Miss Jenkins, child support denied. What? That's not fair. Yes. I don't care about being fair. Honey, I'm in a hurry. I got to go. <gasps> mm -hmm. And I spoke with your children earlier. And they told me that they take a... Girl, I am talking to you. They told me they take a spin in a night bag to your house. But they don't take a spin in a night bag to their father's house. Now, children don't take a spin in the night bag where they reside. Now, Eddie, so the money goes where the children reside, 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 where the children reside. That's where the money goes. No child support for you, Miss Jenkins. Now, Mr. K-9. Yes, Your Honor. I want you to know, sir. That I'm not a regular, regular old judge. <laughs> you probably can tell. <laughs> I got magical glasses and everything. So I can see that you appear to have it all together, don't you? He looks all right, don't he? In your old fancy labels and stuff, your old label hold you. <laughs> but I know that you're a dog, sir. You can drop the act. You can drop it, Mr. Canine. I can see right through you. No way. I should have known he was a dog. Oh, Miss Jenkins, you knew he was a dog the whole time. Honey, don't play slow today. How could I possibly know he was going to be a dog? <laughs> well, I don't know, Miss Jenkins, if you couldn't see that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Blind as a bat. My goodness. <laughs> uh, Miss Jenkins, you said right here that he was your best friend, honey. Like a dog. Uh, Miss Jenkins, uh, you said he was family friendly and provided emotional support. Sounds just like my dog. I'm gonna call him right now. 
Are you calling your dog? Tell him I said hi. Tell Chicken I said hey too. I know Chicken served the dog is there. Tell him I said hello. Uh, also too here, Eddie, get off the phone. We got to get back to this case. Uh, Miss Jenkins, you even wrote in this one report that Mr. Canine, C-A-N-I-N-E, Mr. Important Pants over there, said his bark was bigger than his bite. Doggy dog dog. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, you even brought him little ugly shirts and sweaters, honey. He didn't want to wear it. Lord, we got the pictures here for every dance. Atomic dog, straight out of Chick D. Kennels. You knew he was a dog. Girl, you're in doggy denial. Ain't no way you missed all this doggish activity. It happens all the time, honey. It happens to the best of us. Well, look, it looks like Miss Jenkins done passed out. She'll be all right. She'll be all right. Now, Mr. Canine, honey, if you're a dog, just say it. Just say it. We all know it. It's okay. Listen, not all dogs are bad. You can be a good dog. And as soon as she wakes up from this coma-like state, we'll tell her she got a halfway decent dog. Oh, my goodness. That's right, honey. Let it out. 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 Eddie, we all know you're a dog, honey. We all know you got dogish tendencies. This is not your moment. This is Mr. Canine's moment. Let him have his moment. Now, Mr. Canine, let it out. Oh, thank you, Your Honor. I feel so much better, Judge. You know, the pressure of being a low-key dog has taken its toll on me. I can finally be myself. I'm so proud of you, Mr. K-9. Thank you. It is a wonderful thing to express oneself freely. You know, now, Mr. K-9, as I told you before, I have a very important appointment to get to, okay? But before I get out of here, can I just give you a little piece of advice? This is a whole courthouse. Why don't you just take Miss Jenkins across the hallway? Y'all get some legal papers. Honey, you got five five little animals or something between you. I don't even know what to call them. But you got five of them. All of them belong to you. Lord, you know how lucky you are. You watching DNA shows? Any of you watching DNA shows? No, I can't All five of them part. belong to him. All five. That's a blessing. You lucky. Five for five you are. Boy, you're not, a, you're not that young of a dog either. Not suggest you try and learn some new tricks because you're an old dog now. Okay? Now it's true, every has dog, every every dog has his day. <laughs> unless unless he loses his tail, then he's just a weekend. <laughs> get it, Eddie? <laughs> you get it? <laughs> a weekend. I get it. First he had a day. Yeah. Now he got the weekend. Yeah. I like that one. Yes, I tell you what, Eddie, we got the best jokes here at Tinkle Court. Best I tell you, ones. Judge Snooty ain't got no good jokes on her show. Her jokes are stale. <laughs> stale. I refresh. Anyway, uh, enough of this nonsense. I got somewhere to be, all right? So this case is dismissed. All right? Wait, hold on, hold on. That's my line. Yeah, but you're slow and I got to go. Well, Y'all heard her. Get on up out of here. <laughs>
something more important to do than this interview, sir. It's 1045. It's tea time. I've got to go. Tea time? Yes. Well, you're just going to give me child support, Harold. Did you hear what the judge said? I, I won. Care. I give won. Me, give me the child support. That's what I want, the money. What about the kids, Viola? The money. I don't want the kids. Listen, without those kids, you get no money. Forget you, Harold. You need some new shoes. You know, the pressure of being a low-key dog has taken its toll on me. I can finally be myself. <laughs>